Merry Christmas, church. I love you, and I hope that you're all having a good day today. It has been quite a year uh, for all of us, uh, but so glad that you decided to join us today for this devotional. Maxie and Janice uh, generously offered to let Jason, Maggie, Asher, and I stay here in their winter beach getaway, and it is gorgeous. I hope that you will enjoy this behind me. I don't know about you, but uh, this has been so good for my soul to be at the beach. And I also love a good thunderstorm, and we had one yesterday. Um, I woke up to a beach thunderstorm yesterday. The wind was hurling the rain into the windows, and I drank a good cup of coffee and sat there and just watched and listened to the condo getting a power wash from the storm. As I thought about the storm, I thought about the power of what God is doing, has done through Jesus. Um, he is all powerful and those storms were nothing to him. Scripture says though that we are washed as white as snow, like a power washing. Today we celebrate our perfect, holy God coming as man just so that he could take the punishment we deserve. Have you ever wished that you could take on the pain uh, someone else was going through just because you love them so much? That is exactly what Jesus did for us. He took on our pain so that we would not suffer. He washed us perfectly clean to prepare us to enter into his presence. Today we celebrate the birth of our Savior. Without him, we would have no hope, no access to God or heaven. How could we have joy knowing that we were headed into punishment for our sins? Without him, we would be driven to desperate measures to find happiness, and so many still are. We celebrate today because it is finished. All of the suffering is over. He is here, God is with us. And God's focus has always been on Easter, the purpose for Jesus' life here as a man. He is, after all, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is not constrained by time the way that we are. He is then at the same time then as he is now, and at the same time he is in all of the tomorrows. Today we celebrate the beginning of the life meant to give us eternal life. And because of this, we do have true hope. We do have true joy, and we can know true love. Merry Christmas. I hope to see you soon. Please be safe and know that uh, we're just praying for you and love you very much. Bye, church.